For this video, I took all the FNAF news I could find in the past three weeks or so and put it into this one video for you all to enjoy. I've got FNAF merch news, FNAF book news, FNAF fan game news, and FNAF movie news, so if you want to be completely updated on everything Five Nights at Freddy's, make sure you watch to the very end of the video. And also, make sure to subscribe if you want. I only talk about FNAF on this channel, it's called FNAF for a reason. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Here we go. First up, a meme is actually coming to life. If you've been in the FNAF community for long enough, you've probably seen this image. This is not an official image of a Freddy pillow pet, it's just fan made, but this looks like it's coming to real life now. The official pillow pets account on Instagram put this post out there saying, sneak peek, we are getting close. Look who just got approved to make a first sample. Yup, it's Freddy. So it looks like Freddy's actually getting an official pillow pet. I don't know why they didn't do this sooner. This is genius. These are going to sell out really fast and I don't get every single piece of FNAF merch because I don't have the money for that, but I will be getting this for sure. No words on a release date. This isn't even the actual finalized picture of it. This is just the first sample they have. So I'll keep you updated on the Freddy pillow pet situation. I don't know when it's going to come out. I don't even want to guess. So I guess we'll wait and see. Next up, Hot Topic dropped this FNAF shirt and a lot of people didn't like it. And including me, kind of. I think it looks kind of bland. It looks kind of scattered. I, I joked about that it looked like one of my thumbnails. <laughs> it's like there's Phaser Blast and there's Superstar Arcade. There's no DJ Music Man though with the Superstar Arcade and the Phaser Blast is like right next to a very small Freddy sign. And it's like, it's just, it's just, a, it's just, it's just. But just cause this t-shirt isn't for me, it might be for you. So if you want to go pick it up, I'll put the link in the description. Next up, we have talked about this book in many videos, but the Five Nights at Freddy's Tales from the Pizzaplex book, Submechanophobia, the cover changed again, basically. This is the third time the cover has changed for this book, and now it looks like this. It now features a creepy underwater animatronic mermaid with its jaw missing. If you look behind the mermaid, you can also see a weird underwater dragon thing. I have no idea what's going on with these books anymore. Like, I don't even understand. I'm pretty sure the first Tales from the Pizzaplex book didn't even feature the mall at all in it. It was in the first 10, 20 pages of the book, and then the rest was just not in the actual Pizzaplex. So I guess we'll have to wait and see if this actually is inside the Pizzaplex, maybe the DLC is going to be underwater themed. I've been talking about that for a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like that would be hard to make. Like the game we got that wasn't underwater was already kind of rough around the edges enough. <laughs> I don't know if making a fully underwater game would be much easier, but who knows? Maybe Steel Wool will surprise us and we'll be swimming around with a bunch of animatronic fish and sharks and mermaids and sea bonnies. Anyways, what do you think of this cover? Do you like the cover? Are you excited for this book? This book has been changing a ton. I have no idea why. Maybe it's a Scholastic thing. Maybe it's a Scott thing. Maybe it's one of the other authors. Who knows? This book is slated to come out December 27, 2022. Next up, we have another piece of book news. It is for Somnophobia, the third Tales from the Pizzaplex book. This book is slated to come out November 1st, but we have an official audio sample for the book out now. I'm not going to play the audio sample because I don't want to get sued, but if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. It looks like the runtime for the book is going to be about six hours and 44 minutes, which is not too bad for an audio book. So once again, it's coming out November 1st, 2022. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Next up, we have Kane Carter on Twitter making a pretty big announcement about his game Pop Goes Evergreen. Kane Carter said, the toy animatronics return in Pop Goes Evergreen, but I wanted them to look like they've been ripped straight out of FNAF 2. So a big thank you to Alexis, who is working with us on some extremely accurate custom toy models. He also said, no, the toy animatronics won't appear in the main night gameplay for Evergreen. They appear somewhere else. And this is the image he attached. You could see Toy Freddy in the background over there waving. We may not know much about Pop Goes Evergreen, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful game. Like these graphics look amazing. So I'm really, really excited to see the toy animatronics back. I was honestly shocked to see this, but it's a good shocked. Like it's a good shocked. It's going to be cool to see the animatronics back. Anyways, let's move on to the next piece of news. Here we go. So I want to talk about something that I wasn't able to talk about because my The Entire History of Five Nights at Freddy's video came out the same day and basically the same time. Jason Blum, the creator of Blumhouse Studios, which is making the FNAF movie, tweeted this out on August 9th, saying, It's great to be working with Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. And in the image, you can see someone working on actual models of the animatronics that will be built for the movie. It looks like that's going to be Freddy based on the bow tie and the microphone, and it looks really good so far, and it looks like someone's actually going to be standing in the suits. Jim Henson's Creature Shop does make animatronics, but I do think they make suits too, so I don't know if this is going to be an actual animatronic or some someone's going to be wearing this costume. If I had to guess, I would say someone's going to be wearing it based on what they're putting the costume on on that table, which is really interesting. A lot of people thought they were just going to be making straight up animatronics for this movie, but it looks like someone is going to be standing in 
inside of these animatronics. And I understand it's a lot cheaper way to do it. As long as they do it well, I don't really care, you know? But Jim Henson's Creature Shop is an amazing company responsible for making some really cool creations. So I am so excited to see them working on the FNAF movie, but that's not the only piece of FNAF movie news we have. Jason Blum also took to Twitter and said, that's right, Insidious is happening and it's going to be great. And you all are going to love it. Just get ready and give FNAF a rest for two seconds. So it looks like Jason Blum wants us to give FNAF a rest for two seconds. And honestly, we have been waiting since April of 2015 for the FNAF movie. It's hard to give the FNAF movie a rest, but after the gift that he gave us a week before this tweet, fine, two seconds, we'll give you two. Okay. And honestly, I love the Insidious movies and this was really good news because I thought they were going to stop with them because they've had so many, but Insidious is back. FNAF will be coming. Give it a rest for a few seconds. Everyone take a deep breath. Okay. It's going to be fine. And I'm sorry I didn't get to talk about this FNAF movie news earlier. As I said, the entire history of FNAF video came out and I was also sick for the past week, really, really badly sick. And I'm glad to be back. So look forward to more videos, more live streams. I'm so happy to be back and feeling better. But yeah, that's all the FNAF news I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know the next time I post a brand new video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.